about. Because yes, it's true that if you are going to be, uh, you know, you, you can't change yourself, you understand, in many ways. There are things that will, you, you're going to be, a, you know, an idiot <laughs> before liberation and a, an idiot after liberation. And in a way, and it's only a description of us, you know, that's only one side of ourselves. But, but the relationship from the spirit with the, with the individual can change when the spirit reminds itself of existence. Because then there is a distinction between the spirit and the, and the, and the individual. And then there is a new relationship that can be loving and that can be of acceptance and that can be of <coughs> compassion. But first you need to dis disentangle with your ego, disentangle with your persona. First you need to have a clear perspective of your existence as being beyond the individual, beyond the body, beyond death, beyond being born. You understand? Mm -hmm. First you have to have awareness of that. And once you have awareness of that, then a new relationship starts. And that can change. Because what happens is that until you don't have that awareness, you have a relationship which is messy because sometimes you have awareness, sometimes you don't have awareness. You just, but mostly it's just a war. A war. war, war yes. Yeah, yeah. And it's only the, 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 the awakening into the spirit that makes us more flexible with our individuality. Without the awakening into our spirit, we don't have flexibility with our spirit, you know, because it's not perfect. It will never be. It's individual, it has some characteristics. It's the way the ego performs, it's individuality in the world, in the, in the body. It's a persona, it's a human condition. But you can't see it objectively unless you feel detached from it as well, unless you make a clear distinction that it's not all you are. And this is why I'm trying to give you these guidelines for you to detach yourself from your thinking process, detach yourself from your images of yourselves, so you can, you can actually sense the divinity, you understand, in you. And from that place, you will have love towards yourself. And when that happens, even though it doesn't change your personality, your personality becomes less obtuse, you understand? Less, less obsessed, less, you understand? Yeah, yeah. Much more flexible and much more easy to let go of things and much more easy to, uh, to learn new things and to change, and to, you know, the evolution it's like oiling your own process of human evolution to reach your divinity. You understand? So this is what satsang is about. Mm -hmm. This is what satsang is about. It's not about the, the person in conflict with the person. The person will always be in conflict with the person. You understand? Yes. I do, yeah. Mm. And this is why it's related to an awakening, because you wake up to the fact that you are divine, you see? You understand? You wake up to the fact that your essence is divine, that your essence is consciousness, that your essence is not in the body only. You wake up, and then when you wake up, you relate to you in a different way. Yeah. You understand? If you don't wake up, you're not happy with yourself, and you're full of uh, kind of hostility, and I'm trying to guide you all to say, stop the hostility, start including, allowing, see if there is a space for that, because I'm pointing at self-awareness all the time. I'm trying to convince you to have a mind in order, so you stop fighting with yourself, so you can absorb the immensity of seeing the truth in you. And the truth in you is, it's, you know, it's so immense that you can't see it unless you are a little bit... Um, 
uh, unless you have things in order, you understand? And definitely you won't be you won't be seeing the truth while you're complaining about you know, it's like you know, I'm gonna show you a miracle and you you're in the queue to enter a place where I'm gonna show you a miracle and in the queue you're complaining about miracles. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> you understand? So <laughs> attitude is something that helps to oil the machinery for you to hold the vision of an ulterior kind of existence within you, which is not personal. You you have forgotten that you're not personal. You you only personal. Do all of you are personal? You all per, you all believe you you swear that you are somebody. All of you. And that's the problem. Not the problem, you know, you can go on living like that, but you came to ask me what the solution is, and I'm telling you. The solution is to come home, and to remember the truth, to, to come back to the original form. And to, for that you need to undo a lot of things. Yes, and you need discipline, and you need emphasis, and there is no one particular way, because each of us is different. There's no one particular way, because each of us is different. And also, not only that we are all different, but we all have different phases of activity in our minds, and according to them, the interaction is required. So if you put a program in front, you don't know what is going to be the quality of the seer. So this is why I say first things first. First home, first peace. First do you find it. First do you have the attitude. First can you integrate what I'm talking about. <coughs> and then we can have a good look at yourself. And we can have a look at your manifestation. And we can start exploring and performing compassion in the world. First with you, because you are the first. You are the world. If you can't have compassion in you, you can't have compassion in your world. It's the same thing. If you can't have love for you, you can't have love for others. Isn't it? So what changes is this perspective, is the is the space, is where from you can see things. You know how many times you get overwhelmed in circumstances in life that after a few days you laugh about, yes? Because why? Because you feel safe from it. In the moment, you see, that happened, you didn't, and then you went into being overwhelmed. But after you feel safe, and this is similar. If you come to the self of you, if you come to reality, you feel safe from you. <coughs> if you don't come to reality of you, you don't feel safe from you. You're not safe with you. You're not safe with yourself. You're living with someone who doesn't make you feel safe. Which is horrible. Imagine you're sleeping with him or with her. You wake up with her and she doesn't make you feel safe. Yes? And safety doesn't come from her comes from you, 
come from the perspective you can have, come from you to see the, the capacity you have to see yourself as an entity, as an individual, from detachment. That's, that's, where, that's where safety comes from. If you can't see yourself from detachment, then it's, it's, it's like, you know, it's like scary. It's like it's, it's all influenced by your self-interest, you know, it's all mixed up. It's like that kind of <coughs> help that helps you more than the ones you're helping. You know? Like, that's mixed waters, that's what I say, it's mixed waters, it's just, it's not purity. And purity is different, purity is at peace by itself, and it has a capacity to observe from love without defense mechanisms. And then the whole story of you and your human condition becomes a normal one becomes a loving one. It's just not better than anyone and not worse than anyone. It's just unique. And you and it's it's another example of the miracle. So you don't mess around with the miracle. You know what I mean? You're not gonna say, oh that miracle was good but it could have been better if <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a good miracle but you could have done a bit better. So this is an exposition, yes? Truth exposed once again. But we don't have the perspective. We don't uh, nurture it. We don't listen to me. I come here, you know, all the way to tell you the same thing. Mm -hmm. And you are coming here actually to do the same, to tell me the same thing. So the difference is that you come here to listen to me. And I don't come here to listen to you. I love listening to you, it's okay. I love you all. But I wish you listened more to me because I'm telling you the key that can finish the misery inside of yourself. So it's just, I, I, I'm, every time I go home, I, I, you know, how many people, 35 people? I brought 35 keys. And I go home and I have 35 keys. So I, didn't, I couldn't handle one to anyone. <coughs> Nobody wanted it. Everybody, you know, if it's, a, if it's, an, if it's a, an, an amazing result retreat for you, 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 what you call a good result is to, chi to achieve hope. This is what I notice. You go like dogs with two tails. More hopeful. But I have no clue. Ain't no clue, said the <laughs>